Hi, this is Anushka from Tip TV. We're here with Ian from Adore Holidays, who are Abta and Atoll bonded. And we're going to talk to you about three offers today. And our first offer is the Atlantis Bahamas. Hi, Anushka. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very, very good. Excited for today's show. Oh, I'm ecstatic. The you? offers you have today are incredible. I do try. I do try and give you. <laughs> do try and make you happy. You do it. You do well. You succeed. Cool. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, so our first offer, which is incredible, is the Atlantis in Bahamas. Oh. Okay, one of my favourite hotels. When I put these offers together, I try and find something a little bit different, give our guests some aspirational products as well. So I could give you £199 to Spain, to be honest with you, not really my bag. So we, we, I go further afield. And this hotel I've been to three times. I've done it first on a cruise, and then I think, this hotel is that great. I don't want to go back and actually um, stay there, which I've done on two occasions now. So it is absolutely fantastic. So obviously, Atlantis is in Nassau in the Bahamas. Um, we're basing this, we're flying with, direct with British Airways to Nassau. I've got a brand new airport which was opened about three years ago now. They had a lot of investment from China where they put in new, hotel, new hotels, new hospital, new roads and a new airport. So they've really brought it up to a very, very good standard. And then it's a 20 minute drive from the airport to the hotel. That's it, yeah, it's not far at all. <coughs> Uh, Atlantis, and obviously Atlantis is the iconic hotel mm. in the Caribbean. Most people actually know Atlantis from Atlantis in Dubai, to be honest with you, because a little bit closer. But as a hotel, this is where the concept started. It has the same facilities that you have in Dubai, and actually, personally, I, I prefer the Bahamas one. Yeah, well, I haven't been to Atlantis, but I've been to the Bahamas when I was younger, and hands down, it's one of my favourite. Oh, it's a great, you... great, great place. So obviously, let's tell what people why they should go to Atlantis in the Bahamas. Well, Go on, you tell me. Not only this, this really amazed me. So if you've got a favourite restaurant, there's a Nobu there and like a Nobu, like well, that's uh, pretty amazing. There's 22 dining options there. So literally they have lots and lots of choice for all sorts of budgets. So a lot of people eat in the buffet. The buffet is around about $35, so just over £20. And you can have literally a massive buffet. There's, yeah. there's meat, there's lobster, there's fish, they'll walk your teppanyaki in front of you. So that's a great, just go, turn up and eat. Other hotel, oh, sorry, other restaurants include, as you say, Nobu. They have Seafire Steakhouse. Seafire Steakhouse is arguably one of the best steakhouses that I've ever been to, so get some fantastic steak. There's Carmine's. Carmine's, if you like Italian, is literally how mama made it. <laughs> you turn up and it's like family portions. So word of, tip oh. of, top tip is when you go there, don't order that much because it's going to come out big bowlfuls, lots of atmosphere, lots of pasta. You're Eyes gonna, bigger than tummy. <laughs> yeah, you're going to walk in and roll out. One of my other favourite um, restaurants there, which is what, must be arguably one of the cheapest, is Bimini Road. They do ribs, they do burgers, they do fries, um, chicken wings. You can s sit outside. They often have um, street entertainment going past as well, so that's really, really cool. So dining there is very important. You've got plenty of choice. Also with the Bahamas, it's also pretty safe as well. So you can jump in a taxi, it's $10 over into the main part of Nassau where you can actually experience some of the local food, conch, conch fritters, every different types of conch. It's a bit like Bubba Gump with his shrimp, to be honest with you. <laughs> so obviously food's fantastic. Other things I love about the hotel, I am a big child, I admit it. Hands up, I am a child. They have the biggest water park in the Caribbean. And with this, the highlight for me is the Lazy River. Oh my god, it's seven miles long, like... It's not seven miles long, it's, o it's over a mile long. You're thinking of Seven Mile Beach in Grand Cayman. Oh, <laughs> just testing, just <laughs> yeah. testing if you're awake. Yeah, it's just over, over a mile long, you go around the Lazy River, but six po po parts of it, they have rapids. So it literally goes through, it's very safe, kids of all ages can go on there. If you've got a younger child, you can also put them in, they have provide life vests, so you can go around. There's normal swimming pools there, it's also on the beach as well, so obviously if you want to do your jet skiing, um, you paddle boarding, kayaking, there's plenty of beaches. You can swim with dolphins. You can swim with dolphins there, yes, they have swim with dolphins there and as well. And you can train them. Yes, you can. I actually haven't done that there. I've done that at the Dubai one. Was it amazing? It was fantastic. But when we go to offer three, I'll tell you where, if you want to do one where you want to do some dolphins, I can tell you where yeah, to go. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. But what is really cool about this at here, you can do um, Stingray and the ruins of Atlantis, like snorkeling yeah. expeditions, is that the word? It's actually, it's actually in the aquarium. They've got the, actually the world's biggest aquarium. It is huge. They've got sharks in there. They've got... Over 50,000. Really uh, they've got literally sharks, manta ray, turtles. There was a funny story of the manta ray. I was out there first time I was there, and I got off a cruise ship, and I was a typical English tourist, sort of um, 
like loud shorts, loud vest, and I was wearing this really blue hat. And I'm standing by the barrier, and this manta ray come towards me. And to be honest with you, his wingspan was about 15, 16 foot long. And it comes towards me, it comes up to the top, it flaps its wings, hits the top of the water, rises out, and hits the railing. And its mouth was, I kid you not, that big. It almost hit me. Oh my God. But it was a great sight. I, I found out adrenaline was brown. Yeah, but this is why I don't go in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't in the sea. So obviously they've got the aquarium which you can go around and see. They, they feed the sharks every three days. You can watch that, that's really good. I've got a great, as well as the water park, they have lots of slides as well. They have one called the Leap of Faith, where you literally, it's a steep drop straight through the, through the sharks. It's <gasps> absolutely fantastic. Oh my God, it's so scary. It is. But there is, but the one thing that's really good about it is, two things actually, is they have a lot more like dry land activities as you could call it, like rock climbing and yes. all of that, even cooking lessons. Yes. But they even have an area, because I know when I was younger a lot of the issues were you're not tall enough to ride the ride. Yeah. They've got a whole area that they've made with like a swimming pool, mini pool sides, like little ripple pools for kids that, are that aren't tall enough. And I just think that's so sweet because that's like the biggest issue. Oh, it's huge. When, when, I, when I last went, my son was about four, so he wasn't a particularly large, but he w went on everything, went on the rapids, absolutely great time, as you say. They also have a fantastic kids club. My only complaint about Atlantis Bahamas is you do need to pay to get in the kids club, but at certain times of the year, they do offers where you do get actually one free session, so you can sort of give, get your kids in there. Yeah. They do babysit and you do have to pay. Yeah, I saw, but that's quite good though, babysitting. Yeah, kind of as I say, it's, it's an adult and a child place. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Other things I would recommend to do, obviously you mentioned about um, the dolphins. One trip, if I was going to take one trip, is take the powerboat to Exuma. Exuma is obviously, the Bahamas are 280 odd islands, I believe. Exuma is a little way off. They take, go to a smaller island, first of all, where they take you, take you on to see the turtles. Then on to the next one is the highlight, there's a barbecue, and then they bring the sharks in from the sea, or well, literally out from the sea, in close. They're literally within two foot of the, of the beach. And they're literally throwing meat in there, they're going, it's, it's a feeding frenzy, but it's the closest you're actually gonna get to sharks in their own nature, yeah. so it's absolutely fantastic. Oh my God, I wanna do it. It's really, really cool. Other things I will say about the um, Nassau, not the Nassau, Atlantis, it's a very, very large resort. The price, which I will give you a little bit later, is based on the Coral Towers. The Coral Towers is the furthest away from the main part. Um, there are buses which run round, so you can jump on there, you can walk. So to walk from one end, which is the Coral Towers, over to the Cove, and I'll go on to the Cove in a little in a minute, is around about a 10 to 15 minute walk. So if your budget does take it, I would suggest staying in the Royal Towers. That's right in the middle. It's above the casino. We haven't mentioned the casino. Oh my God, the casino. It is the world's largest casino in the Caribbean. It is huge. You can play all the games in there. It's absolutely fantastic. So if you like a little bit of a gamble, they have live music. There's so much going on, it's fantastic. So I'm gonna go back to the Cove. The Cove is the sweet area of Atlantis. It has its own separate adults only area and pool. So with this, it's in actually, the pool is adults only. They have gaming tables around the outside. They have music playing. It's a little bit like being at Nikki Beach. Yeah. Have you ever been to Nikki Beach? Yeah. So it's a bit like Nikki Beach, but, for a, but in a nice room. A, yeah, classier. <laughs> oh, so it's a lot classier. The rooms are fantastic. I've experienced it. If you can really afford it, it's like a wedding or a honeymoon or a wedding anniversary. Treat your good lady and actually go, go in the cove. It literally is fantastic. Really, really can't fault it. Over in the cove, they have their own separate restaurants downstairs as well. So, That's nice. So, as it's, I say, it's a proper little getaway. Oh, it's a proper getaway. We can add it on if you wanted to go to America, like you were doing a week in Orlando. We can throw on four or five days over there. So I can do it. But what I have done is based on the price on just doing a direct week in the Bahamas. So, should we get to the yeah, price? Yeah, I was going to say, what, what okay. are you taking out of my pocket today, or my parents' pocket? Oh, you, you, your dad's going to love me, isn't he? <laughs> okay, we've got a variety of dates, but I'm pricing it up from May 2016 through to March 2017. Leading price is £1,499. That is on a room-only basis, but that does include your, your aqua park. And if you do come off the cruise ship, they, they want $120 per person to go to the aqua parks. If you're there for a week, in essence, that's $800 yeah. worth of literally aqua park 
included in the price, which is all free of charge. So it's absolutely fantastic. The price I'm leaning in is at 14.99. I've got various dates in September, but uh, I can literally create what you want. So if you're interested, give me a call on the number which is going across the screen now. So one of myself or one of my staff members will be able to help you. If you want to add it onto an existing holiday in America, we can do so. And it's like for a hotel, you like things going on, a bit of a party, a nightclub, good food. But and one thing I did forget is you can get complimentary gambling, gambling lessons, which straight up when I'm there, I'm going to do. And I'm going to be the next big, best, biggest gambler. That's cool. So 14 99 various dates, give us a call and we'll get you sorted out. Okay, well, that's perfect. So that's our first offer, which was the Atlantis in Bahamas. We'll be back in a minute to talk about our second offer.